Hi, uh, welcome back. Hi. Uh, I got pizza. <laughs> so, uh, we just did the, another Free State beer. Another disappointment. Uh, we did the Free State Golden, which is a wheat beer. And uh, we gave it the lowest rating. Like, it was pretty terrible. I wanted to give it a zero, but I mean, zero it would have to physically hurt me. And it didn't do that. So, all right. Now we're doing Ad Astra to Amber Ale. Uh, let me scan it real quick and see what people gave it. I'll back out of the app first. Hey, it's time to go to work, Steve. One second, I gotta wake my wife up. Okay, it's a 5.6%, 31 IBU. I'm gonna stand here and eat pizza while looking at the camera. Yeah. Like my shirt. Say anything interesting while it's going? No, I just had pizza in front of your camera. Cool. You didn't like make like obscene gestures or nothing? No, I just ate pizza right in front of it. Like right in front of it. I was like, good lord. Alright, I already said what it was. Yep. It's Amber Ale. Getting the amber for sure. It's good color, at least. Oh boy. Really doesn't smell like much. It's, it just smells like it's here. It smells like sadness and lost virginity. I was gonna say pine nuts, but that's okay too. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you're banged in the woods. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ugh. Yes. I'll tell you this. Just smelling it does not go well with the pizza I just ate. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> nope. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. too bad. Of course, he just had pizza, so it's a little dry, um, really malty. The hot bitterness really isn't there. Mm -hmm. So, like, the wild sour we had, best beer of the night, like, both of them. Both of them, yeah. Like, when it hit you, it was a good hit. Like, you liked it, you liked that it, it had that tinge to mm -hmm. it, but on that one, it hits you, and it's just, it just lays there. Yeah. It doesn't zing or do anything for you. It just lays there and does nothing. So pretty much this is the blow-up dollar beers. The blow-up dollar beers. Pretty much. I mean... <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm just here. <laughs> you gotta do the whole mouth thing. <laughs> We've got that. Oh my God. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just, it's not good. It's not... It's just here, man, and that's just about all it is. It's taking up space in a bottle.
I could drink it, but it, it'd have to be a, a with food kind of a beer. Yeah, like, and the right kind of food, too. Like, like not pizza. Not something zesty, something kind of savory, like maybe a steak? Shut up. It's time to get in. <laughs> No, like, if you ate it with, like, a steak, which is really rich, kind of, like, rare, maybe with some potatoes and stuff, mm -hmm. I think it'd be pretty good. But, as is with pizza or standalone, I'm not impressed. So, how do you like your steak? I like it. My favorite steak that I've ever had in my life was at Outback. I ordered it medium rare. I told them closer to rare, and it was just awesome. No, yeah, no. I actually uh, went on a date back in college and went to Outback, and literally, steak that size right there. Mm -hmm. And I got it like medium rare, close. I was like, I kind of wanted it as rare as possible. Like, yeah. well, this is the safe area. But no, it was fantastic. And like, I think I had like a Dr. Pepper or something with it, and like, that was okay. But like, if I had this with like mixed with like a juicy steak and like potatoes, and fuck, I'm hungry, it'd be good. But standalone, I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah, Outback is probably the only steak I've ever had that, you know, you don't have to add a, uh, a sauce to it to make it good. No. By it's itself, is great. Yeah. So, so this beer, kind of a caramely, kind of a malty, yeah. dry, bitter. I'd say it's professional. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, like, it's very... It's mature, and it's not something that you're just gonna like bring to a party and be like, "Hey, I got a six pack of this." It's, it's too dry and bitter for me for that. Yeah, like I would have to sit down and literally joy, even a glass over it like an entire dinner. Yeah, and like maybe finish it off at dessert with like I don't know, fucking strawberry shortcake. Yeah, no, because that sweetness would definitely cut through it. Yeah, yeah, or a uh, a chocolate pie. Yeah, no, but this shitstorm of um, amber ale is garbage. It's it's okay if it's done on it's just like with pizza. Not pizza. Pizza's the bad thing. If it had a steak or like a full meal that you could enjoy it with, but just like simple sit down and drink. No. Yeah. Definitely not. So this thing is going to be a little long, so uh, I'll spin. He can toss up. Uh, we'll do. Mm, I'll do that many. For an amber ale, I'll say seven and a half. I give this six. So. So. Not too bad, but we're gonna pour this out real quick, and we're gonna taste this new bomb. All right. So I originally had this to take uh, for my cousin to try, but it looks like I might have to make to buy another one. So uh, it's a Prairie Artisan Ales. It's their spaceship Earth bomb. They had their Nordagios version. This, in my opinion, is better. Titus never had it before. I've never had it before. Let me read it. It is a Imperial Stout aged on coffee. Cacao nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. Oh, that's dark. Oh, that's real dark. You'll love it, I promise. Mmm. I can already tell you this because I'm malty. Oh, boy, damn. You get that chili pepper like mm. that. Oh. The Nordagios version, I did not get as much heat as the Spatial <clears throat> Earth. No, like you get that. No, like. And I first had this back when they had the uh, the fourteen percent when it was actually uh, orange waxed uh, covered. No, like you get the chili pepper, you get everything in that. Oh man, you, you will love it. Mm. No, that's shit. That's perfect. The shit. That's fan fucking tastic. Mm-hmm. Dear God! You know where it's brewed at? Where? Crabs, Oklahoma. Crabs? Crabs! Crabs! Where cousins become cousins! <laughs> no! Coffee, chocolate, mm. chili peppers on the very end. I know. That's it? That's damn good. Oh, that makes everything else taste like shit. Can you guess the percentage? What's the number that would kill me? I don't know. Can you just... What does it taste like to you? Between 1 and 20. I'll say that. 10? 13. Damn, it's close. It's nearly 14. The original uh, bomb that I had was 14%, but they, they bumped it down to 13, so... 
Damn. Spaceship Earth Coffee Company. This is something you will want to drag out. Uh, this was like nearing nearing seven, eight dollars, something like that. Damn. Mm. You definitely get the coffee. Mm -hmm. And the chili pepper on the on the back end it sneaks up on you. Yeah, you can taste it like on the top of the roof of your mouth going down. Damn. That's good. This is definitely one of those you couldn't drink a whole bottle by yourself. Oh, I, I could. Easily. Fuck. <laughs> Dear God, that's rich though, man. Really? Yeah. If you want, if you like a lot of chocolate, their, um, their, uh, what is it, their birthday bomb that's actually out is more chocolate forward and they make their own caramel sauce and they put in it. Like literally, what is ours drying? The glass gets frosted because there's so much sugar caramel in it. Jesus. But it's nearing eight fifty a bottle. Their Christmas bomb, if you find it, their 2016 was the best ever prairie beer that I've ever had. Damn. A lot of uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, coffee, chocolate, vanilla. I'm not drinking the water because it's bad. I'm drinking the water because that coffee taste just lingers in there, man. You gotta clear it a little bit. Mm -hmm. God, that's good, though. <clears throat> he didn't like uh, coconut, so I didn't get the Paradise. The Paradise is a little, a little more subtle, a little more softer, but it does have that coconut vanilla flavor, so... So this is something to have before you go to bed to kind of, as a nightcap. No, this would fucking kill me if I drank it before I went to bed. Yeah. And we've seen, the, you know, the ratings that everybody gave all of these other beers. Alright, so all I'm saying is the uh, Nordagios version, and it got a 99 or a 100, uh, depending on where you check. Uh, I'm not seeing the um, specific Spaceship Earth version, which is, in my opinion, has a lot stronger... Uh, coffee uh, so I really like this beer so oh yeah no I think it's fucking great rich as hell I'll turn this is for the amber ale oh for the amber ale yeah uh -huh. or I'm sorry yeah the, the amber ale okay so we're doing it for the amber ale yeah okay uh, I'll give it a. Yeah. I'll say seven. I'll give it six. Not too bad. Oh well. Mm. Free steak fucking suck. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, you're not great. <laughs> I literally have six more bottles and I'm just gonna give them to Jesse or something. I'm not gonna drink them. Okay, so, sorry Free State, sorry Kansas, sorry Grandma. It's okay, you did your best. <laughs> you did your best, that's what matters. So what did you think about the bomb? Fucking, that was aces. That yeah. was great, man. That was... So the top of the night is the bomb and the wild ales, or the wild, wild uh, sours. sours, sorry. Yeah. No, so. those were great. Yeah, that was great. You gonna take this one home and have some chicken alfredo in the morning? No, I'll just give that to Jesse. I'm really let down by Free State. Okay. You could do better. So there you go. Last one of the night. We'll be seeing you.